that's you're not the threat to America. You're the best thing that's ever happened to America. Biden and the Democrat communists are the threat to America. Um, it's a campaign, it's a political speech, but it's political speech that absolutely perverts the reality. And I wonder what sort of twilight zone you think we're heading into. Well, I think we're headed, we're already in a pretty dark twilight zone, but I do think that this becomes a campaign issue. Because I do think that in the end, moderate swath of Americans who actually decide elections will look at this organization, look at this group, and not think that these are the type of people they want representing them and will punish the candidates who, 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 who lift them up. Yeah, I mean, David, Republicans are struggling post-Jobs, um, post-Trump, post-1-6 yeah. with suburban women. This doesn't seem like something that's going to help. No, once, once you get into what the agenda of Republicans really is on education. But to say you want to empower parents sounds pretty important to most families. And Nicole, I, you and I have had the same journey over the last 20 years with Republicans. I am taken by the fact that 20 years ago, you saw the emergence of kind of a Jeb Bush education policy that was largely centered on school choice. We want parents to be able to take their kids to achieve academic excellence at a school of their choosing. It was true liberty. Republican education policy today is we want to rewrite curriculum and skip past what makes a curriculum a quality curriculum. We want to rewrite history and science and truth so that we can reflect this white nationalism, if you will, that is indoctrinated in today's Republican Party, a far, far journey away from what traditional Republican policy on education used to be.